Hello, I'm Deborah Hernandez, Executive Director for the Southeast Coastal Ocean Observing Regional Association. I'm presenting today on behalf of my colleagues listed here. Our topic is expanding community flood resilience through partnerships with U.S. Integrated Ocean Observing System Regional Associations, or IUSRAs. Coastal communities worldwide are struggling to meet increasing flooding, erosion, and sea level rise threats. Climate change is the driver behind many of these threats. While the forcing for these threats is global, the impacts vary significantly at the local scale, necessitating high resolution data and predictive tools to support local decision making. The US IUs is a partnership of 17 federal agencies and 11 RAs. The system provides a robust and tailored observing and modeling infrastructure for decision support. IUS is a federally mandated program with the goal of providing data models and products that benefit the economy, the environment, and public health and safety. All 11 RAs are certified by NOAA as meeting federal requirements. Certification means that the RAs have the people and hardware necessary to operate a regional observing system. The data and models from regions can seamlessly integrate with federal systems. This makes the RAs ideally suited to support local needs, such as the provision of flood-related data and decision support tools. Two RAs have launched water level programs that illustrate the capabilities available throughout the IU system. At Socora, a new water level partnership initiated this year will deploy approximately 200 sensors to provide decision support for communities. The Southeast is a regional hotspot for both hurricanes and sea level rise threats. In partnership with scientists and communities, low cost water level sensors with millimeter scale accuracy are being installed. These stations will provide real time data to supplement data available from NOAA. The effort is guided by a steering committee of local, regional, and national experts with the goal of establishing a sustained network that provides reliable and cost-effective water level information at the scale necessary to meet local needs. Shifting to Alaska, their Arctic environment, extensive, remote, and critically under-instrumented, poses unique challenges to monitoring water levels, requiring the use of novel and inexpensive sensing systems. With warming ocean waters and less sea ice, communities are increasingly vulnerable to storm surge, flooding, and erosion, leading many to consider the need to relocate. AUs established the Alaska Water Level Watch with state, federal, and industry partners to set priorities for observations and pilot new technologies with lower long-term costs. Platforms using GPS refractometry and low-cost pressure sensors are not gold standard, but they still provide robust data critical to decision makers. The information is used for tsunami warnings, storm surge modeling and forecasts, establishing tidal datums, coastal mapping, and land and resource management. In conclusion, although NOAA operates the National Water Level Network and provides robust tide and flood predictions, they don't have sensors in all the places where they're needed. The efforts led by AUS and Socorro leverage the national program. Both RAs ensure that regional data is curated and made accessible in ways that support both local both local and national needs. These are great examples of how regional entities work with local and national partners to meet needs. Thank you.